That's right. So uh, we're going to talk about eating for performance. We're going to talk about some great stuff with Penny Wilson, um, her business, Eating for Performance. Um, just kind of get you aware of what you're putting into your body and making sure you're putting the right things in there to get the most out of them. Hi. Yeah, good morning. How are you? Good, how are we you? We get to be in the kitchen today. This we is kind of exciting. We get to be in the kitchen, something a little different. I know. So I want to talk about food labels today and portion sizes. Okay. And I don't focus on calories with a lot of my clients, but it's important for people to understand how to read a food label. Okay. So if we use this chips bag, for example, what's the first thing that you look at on this label? Okay, so for me, my son has anaphylactic allergies to just about everything. So the first thing that we always look at are the ingredients. We read the ingredients backwards, forwards, just to make sure there's nothing that he's allergic to. But you were saying that there's, I mean, for you, you, you go somewhere else completely. Yeah, I go somewhere else completely. I use the ingredient list as a second source of information. But the first place I look is the nutrition facts panel. And when you look at that, the most important piece of information is the serving size. Most people immediately go to the calories or the fat, but the serving size. So for the chips, it's an ounce. Or it says about 16 chips on there and that's 160 yeah how if you were if we've got the bowl over here how many how much of that would you eat as a serving at a sitting uh probably that yeah pretty much right right that's not 16 chips right that's not 16 chips this is 16 chips so that is 160 right. calories so that's one of the six portions in this bag. that's one of the six portions that's the other thing it tells you is servings per container and then everything all of the things that are in for, for nutritional value are in those 16 chips exactly. per serving. Exactly, okay. exactly. Okay. And then granola. A lot of people love granolas, and you can see I've broken into this one. Um, a lot of people really love granolas, and they think that they can just eat, you know, out of, of the bag. But again, a serving is a hundred is 1.5 ounces, and that's 209 calories. And I there's mean, five servings in this little bag, and I would sit there and probably eat the whole bag. Yeah. That's a serving ah. of the granola. I mean, I can see that. It makes all the sense on the planet, but this is good education for most people because a lot of us would just sit there and continue yeah. this to chow. And nuts. A lot of us will take nuts uh, with us, use nuts as snacks. People think nuts are, are super healthy. And just because something is, quote, healthy doesn't mean it's calorie-free or you can't overdo it. And the nuts, it's a quarter cup. It's 200 calories. That's a quarter cup. I mean, that's... I probably wouldn't eat more than a quarter cup of walnuts just because I'm not a walnut fan, so I would be good on that one. But a lot of your other nuts, people, right. almonds, sure. they just really go and eat a lot of the almonds. So being aware of your serving sizes is just really a, a key to being healthy and knowing what you're eating. Because if you eat the whole bag of it, like obviously your, your, your nutritional value, 16 grams of carbohydrates, that's in that one serving. But if you eat the whole bag, you're going to multiply that 16 grams by five. There's, it's a big difference in what you're it's putting in your body. It's a big difference, exactly, exactly. Yeah, huh. and we, we pay attention to this at home. I, we actually, okay, I'm a geek with this, but have a scale at home, and like we not. made pasta last night, and uh, I weighed out my pasta, and I thought that's not enough, and so I put a second serving in there, two servings, and when my husband, who made dinner, finished making it, he was like, "That's a lot of pasta for you." I was like. <laughs> My eyes got a lot bigger than my stomach, so I love it. You know, just paying attention to that. Okay, so let people check out your website, eatingforperformance.com. Right. Um, they can find out, you know, the details here. If they want to have some self-evaluation, you can help them figure out, you know, what they're putting in their bodies. If they're having any reactions to stuff, you can help narrow it down. You have really some great information. I think it's very key for yeah. sure. Thanks, and I work with people both here and also remotely. So if you're visiting the valley and you want to get some nutrition help, then you can just uh, get in touch with me and I can work with you even within the U.S. and I have clients who are international as well. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks. You going skiing now? Yeah. Where are you going? Keystone? Keystone. We're going to head to Keystone. Blast. Thanks. Have a blast. All right. So we got more coming up on the show, but you can go to eatingforperformance.com. Find out more what Penny has to offer to help you feel better, look better, and stay healthy. We're taking a quick break, and then we're going to go find Ken Hovey up on Vail Mountain. We'll give you the first look at the first chair when we come back.